In her concession speech to Harriet Hageman, Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney raised the eyebrows invoking Abraham Lincoln. Invoking the 16th president, Cheney, who was unable to crack 30 percent in her primary, pointed to Lincoln's early electoral defeats. Quote, the great and original champion of our party, Abraham Lincoln, was defeated in elections for the Senate and the House before he won the most important election of all, Cheney told a gathered crowd, adding that, quote, he saved our union and he defined our obligation as Americans for all of history. Cheney has dropped hints she has presidential ambitions. Though with former President Trump dominating 2024 GOP primary polling, the grand old party might not be the most fertile territory for her. Some have proposed Cheney joining the Democratic Party, though despite her anti-Trump stance, her record was firmly conservative. Just this past week, Cheney did not vote for the Inflation Reduction Act. Two years ago, I won this primary with 73% of the vote. I could easily have done the same again. The path was clear, but it would have required that I go along with President Trump's lie about the 2020 election. It would have required that I enable his ongoing efforts to unravel our democratic system and attack the foundations of our republic. That was a path I could not and would not take. No, no House seat, no office in this land is more important than the principles that we are all sworn to protect. And I well understood the potential political consequences of abiding by my duty. Our republic relies upon the goodwill of all candidates for office to accept honorably the outcome of elections. And tonight, Harriet Hageman has received the most votes in this primary. She won. I called her to concede the race. This primary election is over. But now, the real work begins. <laughs> the great and original champion of our party, Abraham Lincoln, was defeated in elections for the Senate and the House before he won the most important election of all. Lincoln ultimately prevailed, he saved our union, and he defined our obligation as Americans for all of history. Speaking at Gettysburg of the great task remaining before us, Lincoln said that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. As we meet here tonight, that remains our greatest and most important task. Most of world history is a story of violent conflict, of servitude and suffering. Most people in most places have not lived in freedom. All American freedom is a providential departure from history. We are the exception. We have been given the gift of freedom of God and our founding fathers. It has been said that the long arc of history bends toward justice and freedom. That's true, but only if we make it bend. Today, our highest duty is to bend history, to preserve our nation and its blessings, to ensure that freedom will not perish, to protect the very foundations of this constitutional republic.